It's on its way, and it is gone! Justin Turner! Marlon Bird, Doug Lotta. It's hard to, to totally remake your swing when you are playing in the big leagues. How did you do it with those two guys? You're right, it is really hard. And I think the mentality most guys have is, I got to the major leagues hitting my way. Why would I change it now? I'm, I'm at the pinnacle of, of our sport at the highest level. Uh, why would I make a change? And uh, it took five or six months of Marlon in my ear talking about hitting. He would say a lot of stuff to me and I'd listen and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would go off kind of on my own in the cage and, and try to try it out and see how it felt. And uh, finally, I got to the point, you know, it was through July, end of July. I still didn't have any home runs, uh, was getting base hits, but not, you know, slugging. And in this game, you got to slug to stick around. So. Uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try it. Uh, we were in Cleveland for that weekend and, uh, you know, <laughs> went up. I hit two homers in Cleveland. And I was like, oh my gosh, this feels incredible. I, it was a feeling that I've never had before. I, like I said, I felt dangerous in the box. I felt like I could drive uh, balls to all over the park. And, uh, you know, once you get that small taste of it, you know, you, you, you get obsessed with it and you want more. And, and so that off season when Marlon said, hey, you know, the guy that I hit with is in Northridge, which is not too far from where I was living at the time and uh, in North Hollywood, I think. Uh, it was it was a no brainer to drive up there and, and hit with those guys. And, and like I said, five days a week, we were in the cage. Marlon was great. He was there every day um, along with Doug, uh, watching film, breaking stuff down, making suggestions, try your hands here, try your hands here, see if you can feel this. And it was just a constant, little bit of tweaks here, a little bit of tweaks there until I finally got to a spot where I, I was able to repeat my swing over and over again. And it was the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, and I mean, now you're kind of the poster boy for lunch angle. I'm sure you didn't know you were at the time, but roll the clock forward five years and it's all anybody talks about in this sport. And so I know the impact that you have in your clubhouse. I can only imagine how many people are picking your brain when I went in and was hitting with Doug and, and even that year in, in 2013 with Marlon, all they talked about was getting the ball in the air, get the ball in the air, get the ball in the air, don't hit ground balls, get the ball in the air. So, I mean, realistically, they were, they were talking about launch angle before, you know, anyone saw the stat cast on the TV. They were talking about uh, getting it in the air and then now it just so happens there's a way to measure it and, and to have it, you know, instantly. So. Uh, it's something I've definitely bought into. Um, I preach to my guys and anyone I talk to about hitting, you know, at the major league level, uh, especially for me, a guy who doesn't run well, I would say average at best. If I hit a ball on the ground and a guy catches it, I'm out. It doesn't matter if he's diving or sliding <laughs> or, or where he's going, I'm probably going to be out. So it's, it's almost a disservice to try to hit a ground ball, uh, you know, and, and on, on another note, you know, I said it earlier, slugging is a way to stick around in this game. You got to be able to slug, and, and there's no slugging on the ground unless you're hooking balls down the lines, and, and that's, that's some pretty bad hitting. So it, it does happen, but no one's try, going up there saying, oh, I'm going to try to hook a ball down the third baseline. So you really have to think about getting the ball there, getting the ball in the gaps uh, if you want to slug and you want to do damage.